Fuck! Chris. Chris. Another one. That's fucking three! We can't keep doing this. I can't keep... Why do you keep doing this? I don't under... I have stuck my neck out for you. I have been making sure that all of this is swept under the rug. They're gonna think that, they're gonna think that there is a serial killer on the loose because of you, because you are, you are. Look what you fucking did, another one. All because you think you're justified. You think that this is something that you, that you, that you believe in. I don't care how terrible they are. I don't care who they fucking rape, who they fucking kill. We don't kill people. You think this is funny? Get in the fucking car. Chris, get in the fucking car. Fucking start her up while you're at it. Put the fucking AC on. Jesus. Jesus. I'm gonna have to call fucking... This is Detective, Detective Crow. Listen, um, I'm here. I'm here at the Lake Monroe boat ramp. I'm gonna need you to get down here. Um, there's a body. Yeah, right, it's, it's down by the lake. Listen, um, I have to go somewhere. I wasn't called in here, I was called in somewhere else. I'm gonna need everyone to get down here. Thank you. year anniversary of the Lake Monroe killings, a series of five murders that shocked the Sanford community. As you very well know, Mayor Gustavo Rode would have been the sixth victim if he had not survived his terrifying knife attack. The killer is still out there, and the Sanford police to this day have no leads. body dragged from the parking lot to the lake with the murder weapon in his mouth. Well, what was the murder weapon? Captain. How you doing, Detective? Pretty good, how are you? I'd, I'd be on a boat right now, but I guess, uh, 
and going my day off is something that I, I get used to. We stopped this five years ago. Comes back again. What are, what are we supposed to do? This dude's already murdered what four people? Oh, what the fuck? Hello, boys. Hey, who are you? What the fuck is Captain Kennedy? What's up, this man? right here is uh, Mitchell. He's a new one. Seems like it. I guess they went on the force nowadays. I'm not sure if you What's up, handsome? I'm DA Zachary Harold. I know who you are. What are you doing on my crime scene? What he meant to say, Zach, is, Hey, I'm the new one on the force. I'm a fuckface. Nice to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, but... nice to meet you, fuckface. Exactly. Yeah. That's what you do when you see someone that you should please. fucking respect. You understand, Nick? This is my crime scene. I know what I'm doing. I want you to see and understand. Like dear friend Mitchell, is he's your boss. I'm his boss. And that right there, my friend, is my boss. I outrank you. So how about you shut the fuck up? Go back to playing in the water. Skip a rock again. Maybe I might show you how to do it later on. I saw you fuck up earlier. That's what I'm saying. Uh, was this a murder scene or a rape scene? Could be a murder scene. Is... That's just a used condom that a homeless man wore. He's sleeping over there. You gotta fertilize the land somehow, I guess. That's just ridiculous. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Five years ago, I took justice into my own hands. This? This wasn't justice. The Monroe killer wasn't back. To a normal cop, all signs lead to Florida's most mysterious killer returning. Only three people know the truth, know what I did, and those three are my best friend Michael, myself, and the God Almighty. But God knows something I don't. Who is copying my blood-soaked past as some sort of sadistic game? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't understand how you It'll could be, be fucking handled. What? What can be handled? Uh, how can? Uh, how, yeah, hey. So, um, what do you want to eat tonight? That's not a problem at all. That's not a problem at all. Let me tell you something. You ever go back to these four cars and get your car? You know, get your car here. You ask them to drive home. Because you keep fucking around in my investigation. I'm trying to ask you to do this that kind of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is City Mayor of Sanford speaking, Gustavo. As you may know, we have a city, uh, serial killer on the loose, sorry. I am personally affected by this. I have had an incident with this so-called serial killer. He tried to kill me. I'm making sure that our police department is on this case 24-7 and that we find and arrest this killer. As you may know, our DA, Zachary Harold, has had some further comments on this. Five years ago, this same incident happened. And quite honestly, as your DA, I usually don't get involved in stuff like this, but I feel personally attacked that this is happening again in our community. And I feel like I have a personal responsibility to act on this as best as I can for all of you and for law enforcement. Thank you. Well, I'm uh, Captain Kennedy. I'm the uh, head of the homicide department. I'm a little detective. Um, there's been a lot of details of this case. It just got unraveled. Rose over here. Rose, the mayor? That's what I just said. Why is he showing up? Pick your fucking feet up. Ask him yourself. Hey. How are you doing, Ghost? Bird. It's been Us. what? Five years? Man, I should have promoted you before I stepped down. I'm perfectly fine right where I am. 
Huh. Okay. <laughs> so what, they found the body this morning? Correct. The church here leases these apartments to those in spiritual need. One of the tenants, well, they saw a break-in. Eight stab wounds. Jesus Christ. It's yeah. like that Henry Davis guy fucking five years ago. But for Davis, it was eight for the eight children he abused. You believe this guy? Let me see the body. You don't want to see it right now. What do you mean? I can handle it. It's pretty messy. It's a gruesome scene, even for me. Thank you, know me. Come on. If you really want to see it, I'll get you in there. Press pass only. Why do you want to go in there? It's fucking personal. What do you mean? This guy's been running loose for five fucking years. All of a sudden, this shit happens? This is your fucking fault. What the fuck hey, were Bert. you doing? Hey, Bert, how about you go ahead and fix the crime scene? The team really did a shitty job with the tape. Okay. Get it done right this time. Make sure you get it where the knife was. In the bush, where they dropped it. Marcos, how's it going, Cody? How you been? You know, same old, same old. Everything good at the precinct? Yes, sir. Vic's still a dick? As dick as dick can be. Dickly, dickly. Alrighty, let's go. Here she is. Oh, nice little bag. As promised. Wow, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, I got lucky. I was able to grab a few extra bricks. Well, that's good because I brought some extra cash just in case. I don't know oh, don't worry about it. You know, you, no, you served. It's uh, count as a veteran's discount. Uh -huh. Thanks for blessing me, man. Nice weather today. Good day to live. Go out and do something. Get some money, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you blessing me like that. So, uh, did they figure out who that Monroe killer was? Was? Yeah, um... I hired my boy Toby to... snuff some homeless people to try to smoke them out, you know? Uh, I'm not following. The fuck is this? Uh, I don't the know. The fuck is this? Cody, what the fuck is this? I, I don't know, I didn't put that there. You tracking me? I'm not tracking- Is that what's I fucking going on? I didn't put that there. You know what? You can have that. This isn't fucking cool, Cody. This isn't one how we were supposed to do things. That's not how fucking business is supposed to be done, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you gotta get that in your fucking little skull, man. That's not cool. In fact, You know how fucking am? Huh? I'm fucking Marcos goddamn Boulevard, bitch! Good fucking good night, Cody. Fuck you.
damage. It's every time we turn a fucking corner, someone else is dead. Bert, come here. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Here's one thing. He's dead. Yeah. And uh, sorry. You'd be better. You can go back to where you were at. I think the craziest part about it is I didn't even know he was involved in the drugs. I mean, a tracker was in there, but I, I had no idea it would be him. How could you? I don't think anyone could. I, I think that's that like the least, last person thing. I'd expect. Yeah. You know, I wish I'd have known, though. Yeah, what I wouldn't have been so about hard it? on the guy. Maybe I would have uh, you know, cut him in a little bit of some of the stuff we're doing. I don't want to answer that. I can't stand for any times. Yeah. For real? They just found him. Based off the sketch. That like, sketch? they just called me about it. I just tried looking. I, I, I made that sketch. They got it was the most generic face in the entire planet. I mean, that's what you, you tell think. me someone found the guy? Yeah. There's someone with that fucking face running around yes. Sanford. Mm hmm. Where'd they find him at? At the fair. Right off I 4. Okay, I know where that's at. Anyone else there already? You know that you just Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a few calls. I just want to be you and Young. You say you want to be in the field, you want to see some action, you want to be physical with the perp, this is your time to shine. Think you can do this? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I, why do you think I'm so active with this right now? See you out there. Cody is dead. The only good news I've heard is they've spotted him. My coffee cat. The sketches of his face led someone to see him working at the fair. Hey, uh, this is Captain Kennedy. Want all the units to stand down. We're handling it. This is our case. Only this done right. Yeah, don't send anyone to the clear. All right, thank you. Hey, Cheryl. Congratulations on the baby. the killer? Did we finally catch him? Does he know what I have done? It just doesn't feel right. What do you mean it doesn't feel right? This whole thing, you know, just sitting here, pulling him out of holding and waiting here for no reason. Well, if you have a fucking problem with it, you can take it up with the commanding officer, Victor, okay? Is that okay with you? I'm just saying, man, this ain't right. 
I don't know what to tell you, honestly. Who are we waiting on? Victor. That's what I just told him. I don't know when he's getting here. He's just gonna get here when he gets here, it's I guess. It's taking forever. He's probably talking to his dad. I'm just gonna get what you fucking deserve. You have a small mouth for a fucking pig. Okay. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna get it now. Uh... Whoa, 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 hey, 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 what the fuck? What are you doing? That's not me. how we fucking do this. You don't just pull a fucking out of the car, start beating the shit out of him. That's the way he did. Okay, but he has information that we need. And you're over here. I get it. Of course, out of all people, it would be you. Beating him up right now. Alright, let's take a step. Let's take a step back. No, I'm not gonna calm the fuck down. Let's take a step back. Let's get him back in the car. We'll deal with this later. How do you think our CEO is gonna feel about this? Hmm? I don't give a fuck how Victor's gonna feel about this. This isn't what you're paying me for. What the fuck did you just say? No, okay, yep, yep, no, this is happening right now. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I've got it handled, just hold on. Yep, okay, this is happening right now. Sorry, Martinez. Whoa. Don't, don't fucking talk. Good job, man. Shut up. Yeah, good job. You just fucking sat there. It didn't say anything. I want double. Let me handle it. I what? want double because of this. You want double. I want double. Double this, bitch. What the hell's going on? Listen. It looks fucked. Martinez had his gun stolen by our perp. Our perp shot him and killed him. Of course, the only logical thing I could think of was to kill the perp in the time being because I know how important he is to this case, but I'm... That made me mad. Please. I believe you. Please do something. You want me to call Victor? Yes. Just anybody, everyone. Get them all down here right now because... And I know Victor's all the way on his way here, but he needs to know. Thing, I don't have time for this. I need to kind of get going. It's, it's, it's not. The weather's not exactly. I, the I know, I know. I don't want to waste much of your time. I'm no, not no. here to waste your time. Um, you already wasted it. I need you point. to. I need you to swear to swear to me that this stays between us. Swear to you. Swear to me. I need you to. Can you do that for me? Right hand to God. I swear that whatever has happened, whatever said or happens, whatever the fuck. It's about Chris. Okay, us. listen. So, so. I've been holding on to this information for five years. This has been very, you know, like, I'm, like this is a serious thing for me. Um, I've been holding this back. Listen, listen, what, what Chris has done, Skip what, what Chris, what Chris did was Get justified. I'm on the same side as him. What he did, what he did was not Come right. On. But it, it's it's a difference right. between right and justified. You, you right, know what I mean? Right and justified, you, you sure. Just, he, Get to the point. He was the killer, Vic. Christopher is the Monroe killer. Five years ago, five people were, they were, they, they, we're talking rapists. We're talking child abusers. We're talking, we're talking homicidal maniacs. They were let go, yes? They were. We knew that all of those victims were not good people, right? So Chris decided to take matters into his own hands, right? He decided that what was best. That's not his right. So he listen, so this. listen, so listen, listen. What he did was wrong. What is going on right now, this is different. What's going on, this, he tells me it's not him. 
He tells me, listen, he tells me it's not him. Before, we're talking criminals. Now, we're talking innocent people. We're talking innocent people have died, Vic. Hear me out on this. I, Chris says it's not him, but I, I don't think Chris is in his right mind. And listen, I know you, you've helped other officers out in the past about this. I know you've, you've got it. It's a, it's a silent reputation, but I've heard you've oh, helped. So listen, I've heard you've done things before. So listen, if you could just somehow figure out how to, to just help him out. We need to do something, but we can't, we, we, you, you know what I'm spitting? Do you I understand can't just what I'm? Just go away, we're not talking about it going away. I'm. T Chris is gonna make a big mistake. The, the most I can do is brush under the rug for a little while, but there's no guarantee it's never gonna come back to life. I can do what I can do, but that's all I can. That's it. And I'm not doing this for Chris. I'm doing this for you. You, you were one of the best officers that I've ever served with. I, I, I never understood why you left. I, I just. You're always just a great cop. Was. And oh. <laughs> hey, it's me. Yeah, uh. Listen, I, I just I just talked to, to, to Michael. He just told me everything. No, not about that. Uh, the Monroe killer. He was fucking Chris. It was him the entire fucking time. L listen, he's he's getting taken care of right now. I, I, I'm gonna call Chris and tell him to come down here. I need you here too. We need to sell this once and for all. Can you do that? All right. Okay. I'll see you then. Hijo de puta. Vic, get the goddamn handcuffs. You're right, Vic. What the fuck, Gustavo? Done worse. Get the shit cleaned up, Vic.